So everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have x plus 7 whole square equals to 25 and we solve this problem for the values of uh, x. So uh, here uh, in this problem we can solve this question for two methods uh, and I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So now here uh, in first method uh, we uh, solve this problem with the help of this nice formula if you have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square. So according to this formula you have the value of our a is x the value of b is 7. Uh, and now here uh, we apply this nice formula to the above equation. So after applying this formula to the above equation it will be written as uh, first you have a square. So our a is x square plus this is 2 times of a b. So again our a is x and b is 7 plus b square. So b is 7 square and this whole equation equals to 25. So further we need more simplifications and we write it as x square plus this is 7 times of 2 becomes 14x plus this 7 square equals to 49 and from here we move this 25 in the left hand side it will becomes minus 25 and this whole equation equals to 0. So further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as x square plus this is 14x and this is 49 minus 25 equals to 24 plus 24 and this is equals to 0. So now you see here uh, this equation will become quadratic in x variable into the standard form with x variable so uh, here uh, you very well know about how to solve the quadratic equation uh, so there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method and the second method is a completing square method and the third method is by applying the quadratic formula so here uh, we will apply the quadratic formula to solve this problem uh, uh, for this first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 14 and c equals to 24 and we state the quadratic formula as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now uh, in order to simplify the terms we need to uh, put up the values of a b and c here so after applying the uh, after putting the values of a b and c we obtain our x equals to this is minus b the value of b is 14 it will becomes minus 14 plus minus square root of b square so b is 14 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 24 and it is divided by 2 times of a. So here our a is equals to 1. So further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is minus 14 plus minus square root of this is 14 square we know that 14 square equals to 196 minus 24 times 4 times of 24 equals to just 96 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. And now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as x is equals to minus 14 plus minus square root of 196 minus 96 equals to 100 and it is divided by 2 uh, so here uh, we write it as uh, x is equals to this is minus 14 and plus minus we know that a square root of 100 
is equals to 10 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we will divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write the positive value it is minus 14 plus 10 divided by 2 here we write the negative value it is minus 14 minus 10 divided by 2 so uh, after simplification we have minus 14 plus 10 equals to minus 4 divided by 2 and in this case minus 14 minus 10 becomes minus 24 divided by 2 so uh, here we need two cancellations of terms we have x is equals to this is two times of two is four we, we get minus two and from this case we get our x is equals to minus 12 because you see here two ones are two two twos are four so these are the two values of x which we get here from first case and this is the, our final answer of this question and now here uh, in the next step uh, we uh, move forward and uh, we will just uh, again solve this problem by applying our second method uh, and for the second method uh, we first need to uh, copy down the given question statement here it is x plus 7 whole square equals to 25 and now here in second method we solve this problem again by using the this formula if you have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this formula uh, we have the value uh, we first need to uh, rewrite this equation as we move 25 in the left hand side it will becomes x plus 7 whole square minus 25 equals to 0 uh, so you see here the value of a is x plus 7 and we can write this 25 as 5 square uh, we can write it here x plus 7 square minus 5 square equals to 0 so this is the value of a and this is the value of b and now we can put the above formula or we can apply the above formula here first you have a minus b the value of a is x plus 7 minus the value of b is 5 into again the value of a is x plus 7 and the value of b is 5 and this whole equation equals to 0 so further in the next step we need more simplification and we have x 7 minus 5 becomes 2 into 7 plus 5 becomes 12 equals to 0 so we divide this into the two cases the first case is we write x plus 2 equals to 0 the second case is we write x plus 12 equals to 0 so from here we easily get the value of x equals to minus 2 and from here we easily get the value of x equals to minus 12 so you see here from both of these cases we get the same answer uh, so this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos